Yellow and Luna channel. In October, over on my community tab, I asked who should pick my blind boxes next. And over 92% of you voted for Butter, my beautiful elderly cat. Now I've lived with Butter for a very long time, so I was very interested to see which blind boxes she would pick out for me. I gave her the choice of 12 blind boxes to choose and did them in pairs of two. For Butter's first choice, we have two Demu series and she picked up Demu Forest Night. And this series is by Popmart and Demu World. Butter told me she chose this because she's a creature of the night herself and she thought she should be one of the designs in this series. For the second pair, she had cat blind boxes to choose from and Butter picked Tiger Can Be Anything from 52 Toys and the artist B.U. Tuma. She of course picked the Tiger series because she often imagines herself a tiger and she really liked how chunky they looked. The third pair is what I'm calling the Weird series and Butter picked Bizarre Amusement Park Buzz by Top Toy. She liked how you can see inside of the head on some of the figures and she said they look like me. I'm not sure if that's an insult or a compliment, but let's move on. So for Butter's fourth choice, we have two Pop Mart series, Butter Picked Yoki Gemstone Prince by artist Yo-Yo Yuang. Now I happen to love this series. It's one of my favorites, so I think she picked this out just for me because I was really excited to open it. And for our last figure series, we have two Finding Unicorn series to pick from. Butter went for Ranch Journey Malenta by the artist, I think it's Zuton. She saw all the cow-related designs and had to choose it because milk and butter are some of her favorite things to eat when she was a kitten. And the last pick was between two pin blind boxes and Butter went for Lovesick Lab. This is a Baby Ghost Bear series by Fine Unicorn and the artist Shin Wu. I think our whole house just loves Baby Ghost Bear and I actually filmed this twice because I was trying to figure out how to film it and she picked it out both times so she really must love it and want me to open it in today's video. What do you think about all of Butter's pick? I think she did a great job. And now that we've had a look at what Butter has picked out, let's go ahead and get into unboxing. Butter has decided to join us, so hopefully she stays for a bit and just hangs out while we open up these figures. I think for the first box, hmm, I'm trying to decide which one to go for. I think I want to do a ranch journey, just because I'm not a huge fan of Molinda, so I'm not sure which one I'm excited to get. I do want a cow one though, I do think this cow one is really cute. Also, the secret editions look pretty adorable as well, but I also like these little animal ones, so that would be fun to get. It's a pretty typical in terms of how heavy it is, so I think we probably don't have one of the smaller ones, but we will go ahead and see. Oh, the weight dropped on the ground. <laughs> And I think we've lost butter to the sound of the weight. Wow, this bag is really cool. I love this one. It says Ranch Journey on it, and we have the cute cow Melinta on the front of it. I definitely think this is one of the funnest bags I've seen. This is just really cute. Let's open it up and see who I got. One, two, three. We didn't get the cow one I said I wanted, but this is still a cow one. Wow, I think this is the cutest Melinta I've ever gotten. This is so cute. And it has a stand. Just look at that giant hat. And I love the pink and the black and the white together. That's such a classic combo. I think it looks really incredible. And it's cute how you can see the little tooth inside the mouth for Melinta. This is like a little farmhand Molinta, adorable. What do you think? Are you a big fan of this Molinta? I think this is definitely the best one I've gotten in my collection. And it came with a little accessory bucket too, which is really cute. All right, let's go ahead and have a look inside of the box for the card. And we should have the typical fun card. And here is the Ranch Journey card, and it says, Happy Milker. 
That's a really cute name for this. Oh, and I just noticed on the front of it, the design is in the shape of a milk bottle. That's really cute. This might end up being one of Butter's favorites. I know Butter really wanted the cow theme one, so I think she likes this one. And let's go ahead and do the pin next. So we have our Love Lab pin. And this is from Shin Woo. And for pins, I pretty much like whatever. I'm usually not too picky. I do kind of want this industrial waste one. I think that one's probably the cutest. Oh, and the two little hearts together, the little poison bottle. Let's see though, one, two, three. Oh, I got the ones that are on a stacking beaker. <laughs> they barely even fit inside of the container. So this one is really long. And we have our Lovesick Lab card here. I really love the colors for this card. And you can see it is clear on the middle. That looks really cool how we have the green, the blue, and the purple at the bottom. And with all Finding Unicorn pins, it's a magnet. So we just have that magnet back that can deattach and attach. Sometimes the pins will have glow in the dark details as well. I don't think this one does, but it's still really cute. What do you think about this pin? I think it looks really cute. I love the clear details. I think this one is really fun. I think most of this series has clear details as well. Definitely a really fun one from that series. And who should I unbox next? I think we'll do Tiger Can Be Anything. I do have most of these, so we might get a repeat for this series. I'm hoping. There is a secret edition, which is basically the T-Rex one, but black. I hope we get that one. There is also an elephant one that's the secret edition. I think I maybe want the shark one because I do have so many of them. It would be nice not to get a repeat. But let's go ahead and see because I do have all of my favorites from this series. Oh, I think this one looks pretty small. It's not too big, so I don't think we got the elephant. But let's go ahead and have a look. One, two, three. Oh, I got the llama one. So this is a repeat for me, but it is a really cute one. So we have tiger can be anything, and in this case, it's a llama. And this figure is really cool. I think my favorite thing about it is how we have the smooth finish for the tiger and then the rough texture for the body of the llama. It looks really cute. And we have all the details for the llama like the hooves and we have the tiger stripes throughout and you can also move the head of the figure all around. So I think it looks really cool just being able to pose it and swivel it around. And let's have a look inside of the box at the car. And here is the card for Tiger Can Be Anything, and the llama looks so proud on the picture. And then the back is just really basic. And how about we unbox the Yoki one next? I'm trying to get the full collection of this, so I think it'll be fun if we get any of the ones I don't have. I don't have a lot of them, so I think that's going to be possible. But let's go ahead and have a look and see which Yoki we get. It's been a long time since I've unboxed Yoki on my channel. So let's see. Oh, I can already see it. Oh, this one is really cute. I think this is the Rose Quartz one. This one is really pretty. Oh, I love the pink and the clear ear details are beautiful. My favorite thing about this one is definitely the color. And inside of the box, we should have a little gemstone that we can stick to the front. Let's have a look and see. We have the card, and it is rose quartz, so I was right. These are, of course, all gemstones. And I love the card for this. And we should have a little gem on the inside. Oh, yeah, we do. So a cute little rose quartz, and it looks like it's in the shape of a heart. How cute. And this one is so cute. I love how it has a heart gemstone. Most of the other ones are the same shape. So this is fun that this one's in a heart shape and it's very cute. 
And we have the cute little crown on top of our prince. And I just love this one. All of the pink looks so good. And I really love Yoki. Yoki's a bat. So I just love how it has like the neck ruffles and all of the wing details. And then at the bottom, you can see the cute little feet. I definitely think my favorite thing about this one is the heart gemstone and the ears, the clear vinyl ears going in that white to pink ombre look really good. Definitely a fan of rose quartz. This one is really cute. I really hope I can get the full collection. And which one should we open up next? I think I want to leave the buzz one to last just because we've never opened it up before. So that leaves our Demu Night one. So let's go ahead and have a look. For this one, I really want the bat one. Or maybe the dewdrop one. That one would be really cute. Even the mushroom, I think, would be pretty adorable. Let's see who we have inside. I've been searching for this bat forever. It would be so fun to get. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, we got the rabbit one with the really, really large carrot. And this bunny looks really tired. We have the eyes closed. And I love this cute pink bow on the head and the really oversized ears. That's really adorable. And you can see on the hair of the bunny, we do have another face. Very cute. I think I could have done without the really large carrot. I'm not a big fan when bunny characters have carrots on them. I think it's a bit hokey. And let's go ahead and have a look at the card inside. And the card for Forest Night is so pretty. And this is called Sleepy Bunny. I really like this card. It's super cute. And let's go ahead and open up our Bizarre Amusement Park buzz i've never opened this up before so i'm really excited to do it in this video and we have quite a few that i like i really like the ones with clear heads that you can see through i think those ones will be really fun definitely the ones that are more purpley and pink are the ones that i'm going for this is a really neat series but i don't think i'm a fan of all the different colors let's go ahead and open it up though and see who i have inside I'm really excited to see if this one is really cute. I have liked the quality from Top Toy, so I think it'll be a pretty nice figure. It doesn't really shake, so maybe it's not one with a clear head though, because I believe some of those are shakers. One, two, three. Oh, oh, we got a really neat one. We got one in a starship. So let me take it out of the plastic and I'll show you it. And this rocket figure is really cute. The colors are kind of muted. I wish they were more on the pastel side like some of the other figures, but it's still really cute. And the rocket has a lot of details. This is a ventriloquist doll, which might be creepy to some people. I usually think ventriloquist dolls are pretty creepy, but I don't know. I really like the face for this series. I think this definitely looks like a vintage toy, which is pretty cool. I definitely really like all the details. I think for this one, I would probably pick up a second box just to try it out. I actually really like this series. And the quality and the details seem really good. And we did get a clear head one. It has a coin that is in the middle. I think it looks really cute. Like it's a coin operated toy or something. That's really neat. I'd be curious to know if you like this series or not. It's definitely a bit out there. And let's have a look to see what is inside of the box. So it looks like we just have a card and it looks like a circus ticket. Really cute. And the name for this figure is Rocket Kitty Ride. And it definitely does look like a vintage toy rocket. And here is all of the figures and the pin that I unboxed in today's video. What did you think about Butter's picks? Did you think Butter did a really good job? I think Butter did an amazing job. I really like our Rose Quartz Yoki. It's beautiful. 
And the cow melinta, I think the cow melinta might be my favorite. I think for butter too, that is butter's favorite. But I also really like our demu. Our bunny demu is really adorable. I guess the only disappointment is our llama tiger, just because I already have it before. There was a pretty good chance I was going to get a duplicate. I was hoping if I got a duplicate, I got the T-Rex one. But it's still a really cute figure. I think this was a really fun unboxing, and I think Butter had a lot of fun doing it. I definitely think Butter is curious to know what's your favorite out of the boxes that she picked out. And thanks so much for watching Butter picking out my blind boxes. We'll have to do more of these in the new year. I'm really excited to have more people pick my blind boxes, so I'm sure it'll be really exciting. Be sure to stay tuned for next week. We're going to have a fun Christmas video for the season as well as a Q&A and giveaway. And if you haven't been watching, be sure to tune in to my daily advent unboxing and other fun videos. We have a lot more coming up before Christmas. Hope you have a great night.